All right, hello everyone. I think we'll uh, go ahead and get started with uh, today's ceremony. Uh, my name is Ted Chan. I'm the uh, chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine here at uh, UC San Diego Health. And it is my honor to welcome you all on this special day to celebrate the dedication of the Gary and Mary West Senior Emergency Care Unit. For our guests and those tuning in live via the uh, live stream, just a quick reminder that we are in an active patient care area. In fact, we're taking up part of the ambulance bay entrance here to the emergency department. And so we might ask our speakers to pause for just a second if we hear a siren or a helicopter landing. It is because of the amazing resources here at the Gary and Mary West Emergency Department that, and the care that we provide at this place that we, can have a, they, that we may have a brief interruption from time to time. Uh, with that, however, let's go ahead and get started. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce the Chancellor of UC San Diego, Pradeep Kosla. <laughs> Chancellor. Thank you, Ted, and good morning, and welcome, everybody. Uh, this is an amazing day. Actually, on a campus like this, I cannot tell you how many amazing days I have, but this is the most amazing of amazing days. Uh, because what we are doing here really is uh, going on a course which is uncharted uh, in terms of geriatric care and in terms of a senior emergency center. This is the first such facility west of the Mississippi, first such accredited facility west of the Mississippi. That's important, but more important is this is the first such facility in the UC system. So we are ahead of UCLA, ahead of UC San Francisco, <laughs> ahead of... UC Davis, ahead of UC Irvine, and you know, I can just go down the list, uh, but I think this is our way, and thank you to our partnership and support from uh, Mary and Gary West. I cannot thank you enough. I'm gonna, you're gonna hear many thank yous during the course of the next 30 minutes, and I can tell you each and every one of them is more sincere than the other, because what you're doing out here is not just putting us on an uncharted territory or uncharted course, but you're making us a pioneer, just like we have been uh, at UC San Diego for many, many decades, and you're just allowing us to be a pioneer what, yet one more time. So let me say a little bit about our amazing facilities that you, your center, is part of. Uh, part of the Jacobs Medical Center, which by itself was a pioneer in terms of state-of-the-art medical care, in terms of state-of-the-art medical care in San Diego and also in the broader California region, uh, right next to the Komen Family Pavilion, right next to the Altman Translational Research uh, Center. So we are trying to be the most research-oriented, the most cutting-edge hospital uh, that you can find, for sure in the UC system, but also in the country. And you putting your senior emergency care out here is making us more so. Now, I didn't realize the difference between normal emergency care and senior emergency care until I was on this tour and I heard the great Dr. Chan speaking and uh, the artist speaking and our other people speaking. And I realized that there are some nuances uh, to uh, senior emergency care. And I'm so glad that we are charting the way. What I did not like about it was 65 was a defining age. I think it could be a little bit older. I think there has to be, I, I think instead of age, you have to have other physical attributes that define what uh, senior care is and not just age. Age has just become a number in this day of healthy living. So I want to say thank you very much one more time. I want to say thank you to two of our regents who are here, Charlene Zettel and Rich Lieb. Thank you very much. I mean, these are our bosses. Thank you to our local, local electeds. I mean, without you, we would not be who we are. So this is my chance to thank you one more time, Barbara and uh, Scott Peters. Uh, and welcome everybody one more time. And I'm just gonna hand it over to Dr. Chan again, right? Thank you, Chancellor. Uh, now I would like to introduce uh, Dr. David Brenner, the Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences here at UC San Diego. Dr. Brenner. So briefly, I would like to add my congratulations um, to the West and also to Shelley. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I would also like to acknowledge some of my colleagues from UC San Diego who have made this possible. 
Pradeep, thank you for your support. And our, our, our CEO, Patty Mason. And the person who really worked the hardest is, is Ted Chan, who really made this happen. Thank you so much. I just, and I just want to make one point that besides providing outstanding state-of-the-art care, this is also fits exactly into the mission of the Academic Medical Center. We, there were three things we want to do. We want to provide care to seniors in, in, in the best possible way with the best resources, but we also want the opportunity to educate the next generation of physicians and pharmacists because the treatment of senior patients are somewhat different than other patients, and we want this to be a living laboratory. We want to be able to do research here. We want to figure out the best way of taking care of seniors, how we use bioassays, how we um, do testing, how we use imaging is different, and this will be a place where we figure this out and provide better care, not just for people here, but throughout the country and the world. So Wes and Shelley and everyone, thank you so much. I gotta lower this after David's been up here. Um, thank you, Dr. Brenner. Uh, I would now like to introduce to you a good friend of our department and the CEO of UC San Diego Health, Patty Mason. Patty? Great, thank you so much. Gary and Mary, I want to share a story with you, if that's okay. You know, my two parents uh, turned 90 this year. And uh, every week I get on the phone with my mother, and she asks me two things. She says, Patty, what are you doing for the homeless? I'm like, I, I, well, I, I'm trying to support other you know, agencies working with the homeless. And then she says, I'm really worried about seniors and their health care. We have all this support. What are you doing for seniors in health care? And uh, I started talking about our relationship with West Health probably 18 months ago, two years ago, and then when we were able to actually publicly release what we were doing in the emergency department, I sent it to uh, my parents, and my mom got back on the phone, and she's like, I can't believe you're doing this. This is amazing. You're doing something for seniors. I'm like, you cannot believe Gary and Mary West. They are solely committed to, to doing great work for seniors. So uh, thank you so much for all the work that you uh, have done and this um, tremendous contribution you've made to, to us. Um, I would also like to uh, acknowledge Ted Chan, who's just been an incredible steward of this, and the entire ED faculty. If you all would stand up or wave your hand, it would be terrific. I saw you all, come on. A very amazing group of faculty, really committed to this. And as David mentioned, I think the research that's going to come out of this is going to be amazing. And uh, the connections that are already being made around other parts of our campus that are focused on seniors is amazing. So you're going to see some incredible collaborations coming out of this. So we are thrilled. My, the best highlight of the day was to hear from Gary that he didn't just like the facility, he loved it. And that made my day. Gary, thank you both so much. Thank you, Patty, for those kind words. Uh, we are very honored to have one of our trusted allies with us today who has been fighting for us at the federal level. Congressman Scott Peters uh, was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 2012 and has been a tremendous advocate for increased research funding, not to mention greater access for health care. Prior to this, he directly represented us on the San Diego City Council, where he was the city's first uh, president of the council. He also served on the Port Commission prior to moving to Congress. Throughout it all, he has been a champion for UC San Diego Health. Please join me in welcoming Congressman Peters. Thanks, Dr. Chang, and uh, it's great to be here. I always like to say it's fun to come home to the warm weather in San Diego, but what, <laughs> what the heck? Um, Oh, I have, a, I have a couple statistics here I want to sh share with you in case no one hits on them, but older adults are the fastest growing age group in the United States. The number is expected to grow from 49.2 million in 2016 to 94.7 million in 2060. Um, in 2016, approximately, approximately 3 million older adults were treated in emergency, emergency rooms after falling, just, that's just for falling, right? More than 29,000 of them died as a result of their injuries. 
Uh, think also of the financial impact of that. The average annual health care cost of a fall, just a fall injury, is $19,440. And the annual direct medical cost of fall-related injuries for older adults is approximately $50 billion, with 75% of these costs shouldered by Medicaid and Medicare. What we're, what we're witnessing here today is another example of community leadership in, in San Diego stepping up to solve uh, a really important problem. We have the partnership of wonderful philanthropists like the West, Gary and Mary West, who've dedicated their lives to serving seniors. Uh, you're a great uh, benefit to our community. We're really, it's an honor to have, us, have you with us, and you made really significant change here and other places as well. But also at UCSD, uh, where every building that Pradeep referenced is taking on some amazing new challenge in an amazing new way. And all of us, you know, Barbara and I work really hard to get governments to work well, and we should, and we'd love to see our governments working at 100% clip. Uh, I have some work to do. Um, but even, even if uh, governments were working um, at 100% effectiveness, we would never be able to, re to replicate the leadership that's shown at the community level by uh, benefactors like the West and by innovators like UCSD. So I want to congratulate you all on this great, great thing. We're looking forward to uh, seeing what great care you bring to our seniors and, um, and for the next great uh, innovation that happens as a result of partnerships like this. Uh, congratulations, everyone, and thanks for having me. Thank you, Congressman. I wanted to recognize Jason Weiss, uh, President Pro, uh, uh, Representative for Tony Atkins. I don't know if he's here. There he is. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> State Senator Atkins, the uh, President Pro Tem of the California State Senate, uh, messaged us earlier saying that she wanted to be here today to celebrate such a wonderful milestone in senior care, but had another commitment. Jason, we're very glad to have you here and hope that you report back good news to the State Senator. It is now my distinct privilege to introduce to you San Diego City Council President Pro Tem Barbara Bree. Council President Bree was elected to her first term at the City Council back in November 2016. Uh, prior to that, she founded several local high-tech companies, including ProFlowers.com. As a former faculty member, she understands the university economic and community impact and has been a tremendous advocate for UC San Diego Health. As a lifelong innovator, she has a unique appreciation for all of the thought and vision that has gone into this tremendous project. Please welcome Council President Barbara Bree. Thank you. I always love returning to UCSD where I worked for 10 years at the Connect program when it was in its early days. Uh, without this university, most of us probably wouldn't be here. It has been the driving force in our San Diego economy, and I'm excited about the potential of this new center and what it's going to mean for our region. I'd like to particularly thank the rest. You are generous, you have vision, and you are committed to our community. And this facility really values, understands, and invests in the health needs of the elderly. This unit will help our aging population and also hopefully reduce expensive and related return visits to the emergency room. This data could go a long way in getting other hospitals, both locally and on the national scale, to take similar steps. And now I would like to present you with a special proclamation from the city of San Diego. And I'll just read a little bit of it. Whereas Gary and Mary West's generosity has sparked and advanced innovation, creativity, and paradigm shifting changes in healthcare. And whereas Gary and Mary West's tireless support of research and their entrepreneurial spirit makes our community and our nation better. And whereas the dedicated team that Gary and Mary West have put in place will ensure their legacy has a strong and lasting impact. I want to proclaim that therefore today, February 19th, 2019, is Gary and Mary West Day in the city of San Diego. Right. 
please join me on the stage. Thank you, uh, Council President Bree. What a wonderful proclamation. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Gary West. He and Mary are two amazing supporters, great visionaries, and good friends. Gary and Mary are the driving force behind West Health, including the Gary and Mary West Foundation, the West Health Institute, and the West Health Policy Center. Gary? Never had that many good words said about me in 10 minutes of my whole life. <laughs> Somebody must be on the payroll. Anyway, Congressman Peters, thank you for your kind words and for being here today. I know you have a really busy schedule, greatly appreciated. Council President Pro Tem Bree, Mary and I sincerely appreciate the special recognition. We have a spot at West Health where uh, this will go to help honor and appreciate all the hardworking employees that we had that really made this whole thing possible. Chancellor Koslaw, thanks for your kind words and warm hospitality. To David, Patty, and Ted, Mary and I feel fortunate for West Health to have worked alongside you and your world-class UCSD health team. More than three years ago, our respective organizations sat down together to design a better system of emergency care for seniors. We envisioned a geriatric emergency department that would address their specific health care needs and reduce unnecessary hospital admissions and readmissions, both of which are huge cost health drivers. We aspired to build a senior ED that would be the gold standard by which all other senior EDs would be measured, not only in San Diego, but the state of California, throughout America, and the world. I am highly confident after the tour that I just had that we checked that box. Congratulations to all you folks who had a hand in this. I could not be more proud of what you have done. Today, Mary and I couldn't be prouder to be celebrating the ground opening of the Senior Emergency Care Unit, and we're encouraged by the results we've seen. Early research shows that older adults who receive the specialized care in the emergency department are significantly more likely to be sent home after treatment rather than being admitted to the hospital. As a former hospital administrator, assistant hospital administrator, my apologies, I know this is a key indicator of success. In 2017, West Health, in partnership with the John A. Hartford Foundation, and the American College of Emergency Physicians launched a national ge geriatric emergency department accreditation program to improve and standardize emergency care for older adults. I am pleased to say our senior emergency care unit in San Diego is the first in California, first west of the Mississippi River, and one of the first in the nation to receive the highest and most comprehensive level one designation. Again, thanks to all of you folks' hard work, we have accomplished something very, very special, but we're not done yet. We now have an opportunity to accredit all emergency departments across the country. Last year, following the launch of the National Accreditation Program, the New York Governor, New York Governor Cuomo set an admirable goal 
of making half his state's health care systems and emergency departments age-friendly within the next five years. Well, I believe we can do much better than that. My vision and that of West Health, and I believe UCSD Health, is to have every senior in California to have access to specialized services provided in the geriatric ED. We're excited to work with UCSD Health to expand our program throughout the entire UC Health system and across the Golden State. So, to our terrific partners at UCSD Health and our entire West Health team involved in creating this wonderful facility, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Mary and I are honored to have played a small role in making this state-of-the-art senior care facility a reality and transforming emergency care to the benefits of seniors here in San Diego and all across the country. Again, thank you all from the bottom of our hearts. We appreciate more than you will ever know how much you have done to make this wonderful facility something very, very special and something that the rest of the world hopefully will look to as a, as a model for where they want to go to. So thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you, Gary. Gary and Mary, uh, you are truly remarkable and we cannot thank you enough for all your generous support. I would now like to introduce to you the president and CEO of West Health, our very good friend, Shelley Lyford. Shelley. Well, thank you so much. It is such a pleasure to be here today. And I do have some prepared remarks, but I think I'm going to put them aside because I'd really just like to talk about how remarkable the tour was earlier today. And when we think about how awesome the opportunity is to be a pioneer in this space, it's about what happened this morning. We were touring with Dr. Chan and there was a room in the new emergency department that utilizes technology that was created at UC San Diego, went through tech transfer, and is now a very successful commercial entity. So when we think about the partnerships that we're creating here in San Diego that are on the forefront, that are pioneering, when I discuss Gary and Mary West when I'm on the road, I always discuss them as pioneering philanthropists. And working with UC San Diego, it just kind of puts the cherry on the sundae. Absolutely, that is exactly what we did right here in this building. We have created a state-of-the-art center. We are the best in the United States. And it is, I'm so proud to be a San Diegan. I am so proud to call San Diego home. I'm so proud to have Scott Peters fighting the good fight in Washington, D.C. Barbara Bree, Bree working for, on our behalf all the time, surrounded by leaders like David, Patty, Ted, Pradeep, Jim, Vaishal, I'm looking at all of my friends in this room, and it is really just a testament to how amazing San Diego is, our innovation, our leadership, and to how we are at the forefront of the wave, changing the way senior care is delivered. The Gary and Mary West Foundation is one of six foundations in this country that is solely dedicated to aging. There are 105,000 private foundations in the United States. 105,000. Six are dedicated to aging. That is less than one one thousandth of a percent of philanthropy. Dedicated to our fastest growing demographic. Every day in this state, 1,000 people turn 65. It's amazing. Laurie, right? It's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. So we have to do better, and that is what we're doing every day at West Health. We are thinking about this demographic shift. We are inspired by Gary and Mary's leadership. They are injecting us with good business sense every day, telling us to get out there and do it. We've done it here, but this is just the beginning. And as I was sitting next to David and Patty, I realized kind of how fiercely competitive we are. <laughs> Gary's more competitive. <laughs> And together, we're absolutely, we're going to beat New York. 
we are going to change the trajectory of care for our seniors in our country. And then working with great people like Kevin and Misty, Kelly, everybody at West Health, Dr. Zia Aga, we are definitely on the road to something great. So I would like to thank my absolutely wonderful partners at UC San Diego, and especially Patty Mason. Patty, you are a rock star. You are a rock star in health. You are a rock star in our community, and you are a rock star mother. And I don't know how you do it every day. I had the great, uh, great pleasure of meeting Patty between 6.30 and 7 a.m. at Claire's, our favorite little breakfast place in Solana Beach over the past three years, you know, trying to devise new ideas how to make this amazing. And with our teams, we've done it. And I just want to thank you. Gary and Mary, thank you very much. Thank you, Shelley, and uh, thank you to all of our speakers today. I have a few remaining uh, prepared remarks, and unlike Shelley, I'm going to stick to my prepared remarks. <laughs> so the Gary and Mary West Senior Emergency Care Unit is truly a special place for seniors. I would like to recognize our partners, Aaron Chang, whose award-winning photography brings both beauty and function throughout the unit. as well as the great team at Entente Design who brought our collective vision to life. The location where we are is also very special. As the Chancellor mentioned, to the right is the Altman Clinical Translational Research Center and UCSD School of Medicine just beyond that. Behind me is the Sapizio Cardiovascular Center. And just to the left is the innovative state of our uh, Jacobs Medical Center with the NIH designated Moore's Cancer Center just beyond that. In many respects, the Gary and Mary West Emergency Department and Senior Emergency Care Units sit at the very center of all this activity, bringing advanced clinical care, superb provider education, and groundbreaking research to improve the care and health of our seniors. In fact, our work here has garnered attention across the country and worldwide as clinicians and researchers have reached out as far away as Japan and Italy to come see our unit and see what we're doing here. But more than just the physical space, this unit is about the people, the seniors we care for, their loved ones and families, and the staff who provide that care, our physicians, nurses, techs, social workers, case managers, and others. UC San Diego holds a special place in my heart as I was trained here, and it is my honor to lead this amazing staff. We in, the emergency we in emergency medicine collaborate with all the other specialties in the House of Medicine in the delivery of care. So I'm honored on this day of celebration to have with us some of our colleagues from surgery, radiology, neurology, internal medicine, geriatrics, cardiology, GI and cancer care, to name a few, I, uh, OBGYN, and I think even pediatrics, un unbelievably. <laughs> Today, we are dedicating this unit with a formal ribbon cutting. But I have to be honest with Gary and Mary, we have already been seeing patients in your unit. <laughs> and the feedback has been tremendous. Let me tell you briefly about one patient. She was actually seen on the very first day we opened, uh, presenting with chest pain and a very serious heart condition that required emergent therapy from our cardiologist. Thankfully, she did well and recovered nicely. Uh, once she was back at home, uh, she reached out to us and contacted us to rave about the West Senior Emergency Care Unit and her experience telling us that she found her stay, and these are her words, very relaxing. <laughs> now, I, I cannot tell you, having w worked in emergency medicine for 25 years, that a patient has ever told me that about their ED visit. <laughs> in all seriousness, however, her experience, no doubt, played an important role in her excellent recovery and outcome by reducing the stress and anxiety not only for her, but also for her loved ones in the emergency department, where patients and their families often present in great crisis and need, seeking not only medical care, but also support, reassurance, and guidance. Gary and Mary West, with your inspiration and vision, we know that our care will have that kind of impact not only here at UCSD, but as a model for acute care for seniors throughout the country and the world. Thank you again for your generous support and leadership. And with that, I'd like to invite back to the stage, or just in front of the ribbon, uh, Gary and Mary West, Shelley Lyford, Congressman Peters, Council President Barbara Bree, Chancellor Kosla, Vice Chancellor Brenner, and CEO Patty Mason. 
for the official ribbon cutting. And with that, I want to invite every, we have a reception in the uh, medical uh, community room, which is just over to the left. Uh, for those of you who have been on the live stream, thank you for joining us. And we will also be uh, having tours. If you haven't signed up for tours yet, just reach out to one of our uh, hosts here, and we'll get you on one of the tours over the next uh, hour here. So thank you all for coming, and uh, what a great day it's been. <laughs>